Hey, my name is Jobby, and I'm back at it again with the worst toy reviews on YouTube. Even though this version of Megatron comes from what is arguably the worst movie in existence, it looks pretty cool. The painting and the sculpting on this figure is awesome. All the toys that came out of Bayformers have exquisite mechanical detail. Megatron is no exception. Doesn't mean it's perfect. I mean... Why this? Now I know some of you are gonna angrily mention how there's some third-party upgrades to this figure. But the truth is, I don't care about this figure that much. In contrast, his fapping arm looks really nice. Almost looks like some sort of alien battle axe. But in my opinion, if you have transformed the arm, shut up, it looks a lot more sleek. There's even a little gimmick that's on this arm. Yeah. And I gotta mention the head. This is an excellent sculpt. I kind of wish he had a moving jaw, something similar to what we have in the Starscream figure. Check out that review, please. Because without a moving jaw, this next gimmick looks kind of silly. Why does Hasbro insist on getting their baristas to do their voices? Now I can't say I could do a better Hugo weaving than this guy, but I could sure as hell do a better something. I live to serve you, master. Where is the cube? Alright, that was pretty terrible. You win this time, Hasbro Janitor. I should point out that this figure came with a missile, but let's just say, put in my ass and move forward. So the figure looks great, but can he? <laughs> yeah, this guy's head has no posability outside of his talking gimmick, but I'll take what I can get. Fake swivel here. Rotate at the left arm. Shoulder moves out. Is that what I think it is? Is that... <laughs> Oh, Janky ass elbow. Claw articulation. Moving to the right hand. Also rotate that the shut up. Shoulder moves out. No bicep swivel. No elbow. That's pretty much it for this arm. Disgusting. And to deepen my depression, no waist swivel. Rotate at the legs. Legs move out. Ooh, ratcheting swivel. Bend at the knee. And some toe. As you can see, the posability of this figure leaves much to be desired. At least it's a good size. Here's Masterpiece Optimus Prime, Figma Madoka Kaname, SH Monster Arts Godzilla, and the X Transbots Apollyon, which of course is a much better Megatron figure. This being a Transformer, shouldn't be a shock to you guys to say that it transforms into what? <laughs> Fuck, I don't know. And here we have the Metal Slug! The sort of Cybertronian tank actually looks pretty cool. The mechanical detail from the robot mode of course carries over. However, you do get this beautiful moment of gold. Due to the very <laughs> nature of this design, there isn't much in the way of robot kibble. Except right in the swiveling center. Actually, this is intentional and completely movie accurate. It looks fucking stupid. And if you push the missile launch button, you get a new sound. Put it in my ass. And his talking feature is still functional. This being a rock solid tank doesn't have much posability, except the important turret movement, and you get some plastic wheels that lets it roll. This is one sizable tank. Prime, Madoka, Godzilla, not Megatron. Overall, fuck this figure. But he looks nice, I guess. As much as the Transformers movies suck and they're stupid and they're pieces of trash that should just stop, please go away. I can't deny that they gave us some pretty good toys. Now this is when I plug something so the video doesn't feel like a complete waste of time. If you guys didn't catch last what Wednesday's video, I'm just reminding you that Jobby the Song is now its own separate channel. Here's a sample for any of you guys who haven't heard me sing. <laughs> like, comment, subscribe. Fly me to the moon, let me play. A 
I live to serve you, master. Where is the cube? Alright, that was pretty terrible. Yeah!